But I wanted to show you actually Missy's begging for this right now. And I dropped a few pieces, so I'm gonna put it in. But this is actually just plain old ramen noodle. And actually, since I'm a vegetarian, I cannot have any of the um, flavor packets that come with the ramen noodle because all of them have animal byproducts, animal products. So what I do, what I did with this, because I have actually, I'll show it to you. I know I'm getting ready to go to bed anyway, so. But it's, let me go into the light more. No, this is probably good in the fridge, but I'll. It's this um, peanut sauce. Um, actually, I don't, it's, I don't use it dipping sauce. I just put it on my um, pasta. And it kind of reminds me of the, um, <clears throat> spicy noodles that Nana made with peanut butter and stuff. I still have yet to find her recipe, but actually I don't even know if there is because she never really um <laughs> used a recipe when making it. But this is actually a little spicier than the spicy noodles that she would make. So, I mean, every peanut noodle thing that I've found so far, yeah, my fridge is kind of sort of empty-ish right now. Same as my freezer. I just have food-wise waffles. Uh, yeah, it's too dark. Sorry. Waffles and coffee. Oh, and I have a bag of flour in there to keep it fresh. But no, my fridge is pretty much empty because it's the end of the month and that's around the time where I don't have a lot of money. But I do have some food up there. Well, it's more oatmeal. But Mm, pumpkin cookie mix that <clears throat> my brother gave me to make and I haven't made it yet. Some tortilla chips, some pasta, and a can of vegetable broth. Oh, and a bag of chocolate chips because I wanted chocolate. But no, that's what I basically did with this. So I put that peanut noodle sauce in here and it's kind of like that. Actually with that peanut noodle sauce, a little goes a long way because <laughs> It is so spicy, but I did that, and actually I took some crumbled peanuts that I crushed and sprinkled that on top, and actually I mixed that in now, so that's mixed in. But that is what I ate pretty much for <laughs> dinner. But yeah, that's actually going in the fridge right now because I'm not going to really eat it right now because, like I said, I'm going to bed, and you really shouldn't eat before you go to bed. Just saying, and yeah, Missy wants it. For some odd reason, she wants it. And actually, the vegetable broth um, that's up there, it on top of the fridge, it's up there, because that's another way I'll do ramen noodles, is I'll put a little vegetable broth in it, sprinkle some Parmesan flakes, I mean, not Parmesan, um, parsley flakes on top, uh, salt, pepper, and it actually kind of tastes just like the regular oriental flavor packet. But it's not because it doesn't have the animal product in it, which I think is chicken stock, which I can't have because it will upset my stomach. Um, yeah. So, and yeah, that's my stove. My little coffee pot with a little toaster oven and uh, the little frying thing on top that I got when I first moved out. And now I have a uh, one or two cup coffee maker. It is really dark. I could turn around some lights, but like I said, I'm going to bed. I will maybe do a house tour, tour of my house, <laughs> my apartment, I should say, um, when it, I get back from the cat shelter tomorrow. And I have a French press over there, so yeah, I like my coffee strong. But anyway, that was what I wanted to show you was how I actually prepare my ramen noodles because I can't have the actual flavor packets. And just so you know, I was raised a vegetarian. So, I mean, I like poultry. I mean, I could do without the rest of the meat because a lot of it makes me feel sick to even smell it. 
but I like poultry. I like chicken and I like turkey, but if I eat it, I'm basically, I have my head in the toilet all night after I eat it because my stomach doesn't like it. Anyway, that's it. Bye.